Hello guys, this is the Intel Doge, and today I'm going to be doing a brief tutorial on how to use ADSB Exchange for military flight tracking purposes or whichever other purposes that you might have. So I'd like to start this video by thanking the Intel Crab for inspiration for this video. The Intel Crab just posted a video not too long ago uh, with a detailed explanation on how to use Web SDR to track emergency action message transmissions by the U.S. Air Force or the, by, the US, by the U.S. Navy. So if you'd like to go ahead and check out that video, I will link it down below, and I will also link his Twitter page down below. He does very similar stuff to what I do, but whenever I drop the ball, he was likely there to pick it back up. So go ahead and check out his Twitter page and consider giving him a follow. All right, let's go ahead and get this video started. So the first thing you're going to want to do, go to adsbexchange.com. Next, click on Currently Tracking at the bottom right. And what you're going to want to do first off is check and check. Allow location access for both of those things. Next, what I like to do, go over here, click Cardo Dark. I'm just going to go to this little thing at the top right and click Cardo Dark. Then go to the menu, go to options, go to filters, enable filters, click the drop down, go to military, add filter, and hit exit. So basically what this is going to do is going to get rid of all the civilian traffic and it's going to add military traffic. So if we zoom out here, go to North America, we will see a bunch of different flights and these are all military flights. So it has all your military flights, all the countries that are displaying their transponders for their flights are going to show up. Okay, so next thing I like to do, go to menu, go to options, bring this over and go to aircraft. So on the right side of your screen here you're gonna see all these different things. This is all the details regarding the flight that you currently clicked on. So what I like to do is I like to get rid of a couple of these things because I don't find them very useful. So here's what I like to use. I'm going to get rid of altitude type. Oh actually first click the unlock button unlock this and it will turn red. When it's locked, it's gray. Unlock it, it's red. I'm going to get rid of altitude type. I'm going to get rid of bearing. I'm going to get rid of distance. I'm going to get rid of engines, species, wake turbulence, average signal level, signal level, MLAT, TISB, Flights count, serial, year built, and I'm going to keep the rest. And click lock, and you're good to go. So next up, we're going to adjust the list. So this is this here. So, I'm going to unlock it. And what I like to do is just get rid of ICAO and MLAT. And the rest can stay. Sometimes I like to go in here and add something. So I'll just add squawk, and usually I just put that right before registration. Actually, I'll get rid of registration too as well. So there you go. This is my full list. This is usually what I use. So I'm going to go ahead and lock that back up. Click the X, and there you go. You're good to go. Everything is set up properly, and you can monitor aircraft. So, uh, real quick, if you have any other problems or are looking for anything else, uh, go to my website, inteldoge.com, and uh, look for the uh, text tutorial that I did on ADSB Exchange, and it has some other things in there that you might want to see. So, next, uh, if you want to look at the interesting aircraft, um, this is what you're going to want to do. So, click this up here, go to Options. Filters, uncheck military, add interesting, if I can find it, add filter, and usually you can't, you cannot use military and interesting at the same time, because it will glitch out. So, click out of there, this will freeze for a second, just wait for it to go away. Might take a minute. There we go. So, this is all your interesting air flights. 
So you'll have different things in here, like Country Aviation International. Uh, you'll have like state police for different states. I have different things here. U.S. Air Force Academy. It's basically just flights that the website considers interesting. So whatever flight that the website considers interesting will show up here. So this has like Denver Broncos, the Denver Broncos football team, has Caesars Entertainment Operating Company, just some different things like that. And here's a U.S. Air Force flight for the U.S. Air Force Academy. So yeah, I mean that's that's interesting flights. That's really all they are. Interesting, maybe, who knows? It is up to you. So go back, filters, check military on check interesting. Give me a minute and it'll update. So one thing I want to mention before this video is over is that there is a common misconception that me posting the location of these flights is endangering the pilots of the flights and I would just like to go ahead and say that, that is not true uh, that these pilots are very capable of hiding their flights if needed uh, they can very easily disable their transponder and the flight will no longer show up so if the, if the pilot of the flight is doing a mission or is getting ready to do something that they don't want other people to know about they will toggle off their transponder and it can no longer be seen. It is gone, can no longer be tracked. Nobody can see it. So these pilots know what they're doing. And if they feel that, you know, they're not endangered, that they can show their location, they will show it. And people like me and you can track it. No harm, no foul. I'm not putting anybody at danger. I'm not trying to put anybody at danger. It's not my purpose. My purpose is to just show you these flights so you can see them not putting anybody at danger. All right, now that, the, now that we got that out of the way, uh, if you have any other questions regarding ADSP Exchange, feel free to contact me on Twitter, at Intel Doge. You can contact me on Discord. My Discord is Intel Doge, hashtag 4466. You can contact me at email at Intel Doge at inteldoge.com. Uh, and there's a couple other ways to contact me that you can find on my website. So if you have any other questions, go ahead and contact me on one of those forms of contact. Uh, other than that, this is the Intel Doge. Thank you for watching. And I will see you back here soon, hopefully with another tutorial video. Thank you and goodbye.